I'm developing a procedural exploration game about discovery in a fantasy world. And I'm currently standing in a room absolutely full of junk. I am of course not talking about myself. You find new things, collect rewards, gradually level up, and do it all again. It's more of a gameplay concept at this stage, but there is one feature that I've been missing for quite a while. I'm assuming you read the title because it's the inventory system. Riddle me this one losers, but what is the point of an inventory system if you can't actually collect items? So this week I set about finishing off a simple inventory system I wrote last week, making it even more better. -er. I'm surrounded by litter trays and I'm already getting a bit of a throat sore because I think I've inhaled like too much cat litter into me. But this is the only room within the house that had like a flat white surface. So I just love you guys so much. Got to get one video out a week, right? So carrying on from last week, I had it drawing the grid. I just didn't really have much function in the grid. You were able to mouse the cursor around the place and get a bit of a description about what the item actually was. However, this didn't actually do anything because there were no items. So the first thing I had to set about doing was actually implementing that system. It's my crash. None help. Oh yes, it worked. Okay. And I'd imagine if I went, it would break. Yep. So some things fit and some things don't fit. Hooray! I know it looks exactly the same as it did before, but the code is now way better. So essentially the inventory grid has been completely decoupled from the actual goings on of the rest of the inventory screen. So in theory, that means you should just be able to stick it wherever you want, which is good. I have invisible items in the inventory. So health potion and large potion. Essentially, it just doesn't update itself if you hover off that thing, but if you go over something that is valid, then it will just change it like this. One, well, actually, is this even 30? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. <laughs> it really looks quite small when you add it up like that. After I'd figured out how to count like a six-year-old child, I then went over to GitHub to check that my actions were still building my game as I expected, because of course these builds are released to the general public, which means you. Really, I think I need to start getting items in place so you can actually see what's going on. I ended up just borrowing these icons from a previous game I'd made, temporarily, obviously. Oh, look how many bananas I've got. <laughs> did I actually set it to be the banana? Well, I did, okay. <laughs> so I got my missing no item in place. So now I needed some way to uh, touch the items in a way that doesn't get this video demonetized. The idea was they'd have like a little pop-up window on the screen that whenever you actually clicked on an item, it appeared and gave you a bunch of options like, I don't know, use, equip, drop, scrap, cancel. You need a cancel button, right? Hooray! It looks amazing. It looks just like the sort of <laughs> GUI object that I would actually design myself. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's there. Oh my God, look at this error. Selected item equals null. Why did this fail? Well, it's because I'm actually comparing the function itself. You can do that. That's kind of stupid. And, hey, it crashed. Yeah, well, why are you sending null? And then, oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. Hooray. I actually have a functioning inventory. Hang on, let's run that again because it's so amazing. I have to look at it again. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, I, <laughs> I don't know what I just did to crash it, but it crashed either way. Cancel does nothing. Drop, gets rid, use, perfect. So if I did a for loop. In order to test out this extra spicy calzone, I stuffed the inventory with strange bottles of blue liquid just like I might stuff a piñata with the aforementioned strange bottles of blue liquid at my least favourite child's birthday party. <laughs> what a good day it's been today. Mm. Yeah, no, that's really good. Oh, it's actually quite a satisfying thing to develop as well because it's just quite easily understood and also just a pretty cool feature. Right, so I've sort of modified the inventory so that instead of drop, it should actually just like 
scrap the item, as in give you the money that it's worth. However, in theory, things often tend not to work. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Adding five to zero money, new is 15. New is 15. Okay, so I did get more money. It's just that it didn't send an event. So I transmitted it and I didn't see it. That's so annoying. Okay, they're different events. Money changed and money added. Let's subscribe to both. That might work instead. Let's see. Oh, it did! Hey! That was probably a bit of a dramatic reaction for like changing a number. Very good, very good. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Do, so rather than drop, that should just be scrap. Scrap. I just don't know why I didn't do a find and replace. Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Maybe I am. It doesn't, it doesn't actually log anything. Hmm. Right. Slight improvements. Why is the screen just turned off? So it should be that you can just hover over stuff and it'll give you a bit of description about what that actually is. Um, so in this case, restores 20 health. If I also gave it defense, then uh, it would say increases defense by 10. <gasps> color! As much as I don't think I'll ever go with this color scheme in the final game, it's uh, good enough for now. Now I see you viciously thinking to yourself, I don't want my player to be naked all the time. Why can't I make it so that they can equip items? And to that I would say, well actually that makes perfect sense. Let's just copy some random items and stick them in there. I'm so happy to have a sword. Oh, why is it a question mark? That's so sad. Yay! Look at this, I have a sword in my inventory. What? Oh, I can't click. <laughs> if I click it, it fails. Ooh, what the hell is going on here? Feet, accessory, accessory. So it's only the feet that's wrong. Oh, not the feet again. It does look a bit odd, as they don't really match up height-wise. One thing I do have working is now when you actually equip an item, bam, the hover over does actually work as well. Why on earth did that happen? It's probably the wrong way around, right? In which case, hey, that does look better, like immediately. As much as you can't see which of the slots is actually equipped to, Equip, unequip. Yeah! Yes! So, equip. Equip this. I've lost the sword. Hooray! Unequip. Okay, good. Now let's equip that. And I get a sword back. Yeah! Nice. Okay, so no more swords getting lost in the process. Anyway, that's all I've got for this week. It's been a bit of a weird one. <laughs> what with me standing in the cat shit den. Actually, I did get quite a lot done this week, so all in all, I am quite pleased with how it turned out. Here's what I've got left to do on the Trello board for the end of the month, which is for Alpha 0.2.0. It is kind of a long way away, but it's also not. It's like half a month. Luckily, GitHub Actions build the engine for me this time, so I don't have to think too hard about that. I'm gonna do this next bit, holding a cat. Oh, it's fine, George. You'll be fine. Right. I then, I've completely forgotten where I was. 